let's now take a look at how to use relational operators in Roblox. Basically, you use a relational operator to compare two different values. And here I have the equal to comparison and the not equal to comparison. Let's run and take a look. On the first line, we're comparing is one equals to two, and the answer is false. Second line is two equal to two, and the answer is true. Is one not equal to two? Sure, it's true. Is two not equal to two? The answer is false. Here we have more relational operators. This is the greater than sign. This is the less than sign. This is greater than or equal to, and this is less than or equal to. Let's run test and take a look. So the first one, the answer is false. One is not greater than two. Second one is false. Two is not less than two. The third one is false as well. One is not greater than or equal to two. And the fourth one, finally, we have a true answer. Two is less than or equal to two. Finally, let's take a look at logical operators. Up here, I'm declaring four different variables. A is true, B is true, C is false, and D is undefined, it's nil. Here we have a Boolean expression. So a Boolean expression is anything that gives you a value of true or false. So here we're saying A and B and A and C. So basically A is true, B is truth, it's true and true is true, and A is true and C is false, true and false is false. Let's run test and take a look. And here we have A and B is true and A and C is false. In this next example, we have C or false. So it is false or false is false. And here we have false or true is true. Let's run test and take a look. And there it is, C or false is false and C or true is true. In this next example, we're using the not operator. So one equals to two is false, not false is true. Let's run test and take a look. And there it is, the answer is true. Here we have a bunch of very interesting examples. Here I'm declaring A equals true, B equals false, D is undefined, is nil. Let's run and take a look. Starting from line number five, we have the answer is false. A is true, true and false is false. True and true is true. Next one is zero. So A, now here's the rule in Roblox. If you're doing some other programming languages, the rule could be different. But in Roblox, everything is true except for nil and false. So nil and false are treated as false. Everything else is treated as true. So here we have true and zero. Zero is treated as true, so true and true is true. And the answer down here is zero. Zero is true, so therefore it's true. Next one, the answer is one. Remem remember again, everything is true, so one is also true, so the answer is one. One is true. On the next line here, now remember nil is treated as false. So you have A, which is true, true and nil. Nil is false, so true and false is false. And the answer is nil, nil is false, so false is false. On the next line here, we have true and D. D is undefined, so undefined value is nil. And nil is false, so true and nil, it gives you nil, nil is false. Just to show you that nil is false, so here I have A and D. A and D is going to give you nil, and here I have not nil. And down here, you see not nil is true. So nil is treated as false. And the final two lines here, we have B and nil. B is false. Nil is false. So false and false gives you false. B and D. D is nil, so false and nil gives you false.